Last time we had to say a sad goodbye to our beautiful epic campsite because there wasn't sufficient sunlight to recharge the batteries. Uh, I don't want to have to leave here. I love it here. I need more power. Our quest to find shore power was on. Will this unplanned twist turn our camping trip into a bust? Or can we still enjoy the beauty of the Everglades? <laughs> Lily, we're on video, honey. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a bug out this morning because last night my electric went off. <laughs> guys come on <laughs> go Chris come on Turner River Road is one of the most scenic roads in the Everglades it heads directly through Big Cypress National Preserve and there's one way in and one way out it has become a beautiful viewing platform for the vast array of wildlife along the canal. The dogs enjoyed running after birds. And we just took it slow and enjoyed the beauty around us. Now it says no dogs. It says no dogs, Ron. Making a quick stop at the visitor center. There's alligators here. Um, can you tell Ron wants to go out? <laughs> this is the southern terminus of the Florida Trail. That's like a dream of mine to hike the Florida Trail. Takes a couple months to hike the Florida Trail. It's like 2,200 miles, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the dogs because the dogs can't hike the Florida Trail and parts of it you can't hike with dogs. The Florida Trail is a scenic hiking trail that spans 1,500 miles across Florida from the Everglades to the Panhandle. Only 400 people have completed the entire trail. Even though Florida is flat, this trail is challenging because it goes through sand, water, 
and mud in alligator infested swamps. But one day I'll do it. <laughs> you can bet that I'm going to do it. Midway Campground is the only big Cypress National Preserve campground alive? with electric hookups. It's $30 a night for an RV site. tonight I'm pretty tired so I'm gonna make a quick 20 minute taco soup I have leftover tortillas corn tortillas corn tortillas aren't exactly my favorite but I'm going to make some baked tortilla chips with this really tasty I bet like the flavors will marry and it will taste better tomorrow soup always tastes better the second day but it's pretty hearty with the pinto beans and corn and zucchini really good for a simple soup and these things mm. Mm. And 
next batch I'm going to make crunchier. But they are really good. I mean, I'm not a big fan of corn tortillas, but when made like this, they're really delicious and a lot healthier than bag tortilla chips. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Mmm. The ones that came out crunchier are so good. <laughs> this is our morning view. It's not a terrible view. We're waking up in Midway Campground in Big Cypress National Preserve. It is it is a lovely campground. It's so nice having electric and not having to worry about, you know, losing my food because I don't have enough electric to run my refrigerator. But I'm really missing that spot that um, we had in the woods. That was a beautiful spot. And once I get my electric figured out and I'm in Florida, I'm definitely going back and booking that spot. The dogs like to investigate where we're waking up because it's always different. Right, Lily? Oops. <laughs> Lily, we're on video, honey. About to take the dogs on a walk through this lovely campground. It's a little chilly outside. good reason not to walk your dogs there, right? In the next video, I'm going to be troubleshooting my DC to DC charger and my battery monitor. Both were not working correctly during this trip. This should be interesting because electricity is like quantum physics to me. It scares the crap out of me.